Maraba, welcome. Okay, today we are going to learn how to pronounce the letters in the Turkish alphabet. Okay. Uh, I would like you to repeat after me as I say the word, the, the letters as I pronounce them so you can uh, also practice in the same time. Okay, good. Ah. 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 B. 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 J. 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 Ç. 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 D. 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 E. 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 F. 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 G. 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 There is a letter that um, is similar to G, G, but um, it uh, doesn't have a sound by itself uh, and uh, it is used uh, basically for connecting vowels in the word, okay? There isn't any word, Turkish word that starts in this letter. Uh, it can be used in the middle of the let of the of the word or maybe at the end of the word, but never in the uh, beginning. Okay, and um, this letter doesn't have its own sound. It's uh, used uh, for connecting the vowels. Okay, good. Um, then we go on with H, mm -hmm. H, H, okay, U, 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 I, I, I. J, 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 K, 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 L, 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 M, M, M. Ne, 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 o, 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 ö, 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 p, p, p. Re, 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 se, 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 she, 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 te, te, te. U, 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 V, 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 Y, 
ye ye ze 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 okay good one so um the turkish alphabet is um basically the same alphabet like in english okay but uh, we have some um new letters maybe that we we can we have to learn how to pronounce them that are a little bit dif different than the the english one for example r in english is very soft you know uh, and it's different but in uh, the turkish language is like uh, you know r or maybe um uh, we have uh, also the the letters u and er which doesn't exist in the english alphabet uh and uh, we have to practice them also so how can you practice these letters if you are asking uh, this question uh, i would recommend you to uh, to find some turkish words maybe not even turkish you can use the english words that you already know um, and like you do spelling in english you should do spelling in turkish for example we say table is the word table in English okay but I want to practice my uh, pronunciation of the Turkish letters instead of practicing the English one okay my point is that you can practice this with your own uh, uh, alphabet in with the English alphabet uh, I mean until some level until you you get uh, used to this uh, pronunciation and for example table would be not like T A B L E in English, but instead of that, I would uh, say T A B L E. Okay, and this is the Turkish version of the um, of uh, the spelling. Okay, the same word. So this may be well, let's say one kind of practice for you. You can uh, try that, okay? And uh, this is also a good idea for all the languages that you are learning. Um, and when you can adopt this uh, method, it's like uh, the first steps of learning how to pronounce the words, the, the letters of that uh, particular language, okay? So this is like the basic uh, step. Then um, you can go to the next level and uh, find some Turkish words so you can find the, the meanings of the words that you previously used in your um, in your exercise in the spe spelling exercise and now finding the meanings of the words basically gives you another word uh, that you can spell in Turkish okay so you are doing two th uh, two things in the same time for example table in turkish means masa and uh, if i want to spell it in turkish way it will be me a se a okay so this is for the uh, turkish language i would also say that um, there are 29 letters in the turkish language and uh, uh, eight of them are vowels um, we also have the same vowels like in English a then there is e e i o e u u okay a e E, I, O, E, U, U. Eight of them are vowels. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.